Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we'll see how to implement uh, Python classes because I want to use them on the uh, next tutorials but I, I've seen that I haven't done a tutorial specific on this topic so we'll see how to implement a, a very basic Python class and in particular we'll see uh, the bank account class. So we can start. Okay. The the syntax is you have to write the class, then the name of your class, then column, and then you will start all the methods uh, of these classes. So the first one is the constructor, which is double underscore uh, init double underscore to initialize a, a new bank account variable. And the first one is the, the variable itself. So we call it self, but uh, it's I mean, everyone calls this variable uh, self, but it's not mandatory. You can name whatever you want. And uh, and then, for instance, we have uh, the name of uh, of the holder of the bank account. So, and the first thing is self.name becomes our input name because this will be a variable of the class bank account. And then another variable for the bank account for sure will be the balance. And when you initialize this, is I think it's a good idea to put the balance as zero. Then another built-in method is the representation method. So again, double underscore representation uh, rep double underscore. This is because when you want to print, okay, let's start with an example. So. Uh, let's say we want to create uh, a bank account, so I call it my bank account is equal to my name of the class, so bank account. And then here we said that to initialize our own bank account variable, we just need a name. So let's say, I don't know, John. And you see that whenever you print it, you see this weird thing and with by using the method representation represent we just need to specify how we want to print this variable so uh, we, we don't need any input apart from the, the, the variable itself and we say return and then we print whatever we want so for instance we have account holder and then here we put the, a string. Then we get a new line and then we say balance. And we have dollars and then here we put a float. So with, uh, for instance, two decimal digits and uh, that's it. And again, we get a new line. And uh, then we have to specify the name. So self.name and self.balance. And uh, you see that now if we print our bank account variable, we have this specify. So account holder, it tells who the account holder is and how much money he or she has in the in uh, his or her bank account. And uh, okay, now we can start to the to implement the actual useful methods and uh, for instance the first one will be show balance if we want just to print the, the balance and we just need self okay and uh, print show balance we this means that we just need to print the balance so i can copy this part maybe okay we remove the the account holder part Okay, we have balance dollars again two decimal digits and then self dot balance. Okay, for instance, now we can print my bank account. Okay, my bank account dot show balance. We open and close the bracket, and you see the balance is zero dollar. Okay, because of course we haven't deposited or withdrawn any money yet. 
Okay, so we can start implementing the, the deposit uh, function. So we just need, of course, a self and then an amount to, to be deposited. Uh, okay, first we have to, to check uh, whether this amount is a good amount or not. So if amount is lower than zero, this doesn't make sense. So we just print uh, a sort of error message. So with, let's say you cannot deposit a negative amount. Okay. Um, then, so as if the amount is greater or equal to zero, then we just need to increase the, the balance of the bank account. So self dot balance plus equal amount so the new balance will be the previous the old balance plus the amount the the holder has just deposited and uh, finally we for, for example we can print the balance and uh, okay let's try this this new member function so if to my bank account let's say i want to uh, I want to deposit, uh, I don't know, uh, $10. Let's say this doesn't tell you any error message and it says the new balance is $10. If instead I want to deposit uh, something like minus $10, this will tell you you cannot deposit a negative amount this um, this just says um, twenty dollars because i run this this line uh, twice so if for instance i recreate the bank account let's say here is 10 and here again is 10 because because now it's correct and uh, finally we just need a withdrawn function so Let's write death of with draw, and again we need self as usual, and then balance. Uh, sorry, 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 not balance. The, again, the amount. Okay, now we check again the amount. So if the amount is lower than zero, what we say is. I just copy this one and this time will be you cannot withdraw a negative amount else if so if the amount is greater or equal than zero we have to check two things so this time we cannot just check if the amount is greater or equal than zero but we just we also have to check whether the the balance is greater or equal than the amount because otherwise so let's suppose you have uh, $20 in your bank account and you want to withdraw $50 this doesn't make sense because you don't have uh, that much of money and so else if self dot balance is lower than the amount Again, we just need to print uh, a new error message. So let's say insufficient balance to withdraw. And let's say, um, and we also print that dollars. So dot to F, dot to F. And here we put the amount. As finally, so the the last part is the successful withdrawal, and it just need to put self balance minus equal amount. So the new balance will be the previous one minus the amount the holder has just withdrawn. And uh, again, we we can uh, just to to print out the result, we can show use the show balance function. Okay, so. Let's uh, let's try this uh, this final function, the withdraw function. So, okay, I just run 
I just empty this one. So okay, now we have zero dollars. Let's say we want to deposit a hundred dollars. Okay, we have now the new balance of John is a hundred dollars, and uh, let's let's pretend we want to withdraw minus ten dollars. Okay, you can now withdraw a negative amount now. Again, we want to uh, an error message. So let's say we want to withdraw $200, but we just have $100. So insufficient balance to withdraw $200 because the balance is $100. Eventually, we want to withdraw $50. $50, and it says the new balance is $50. So this is uh, a very naive example because it's very simple, but I, I suggest you to, to study uh, classes in Python because I really uh, fundamental parts of uh, object-oriented uh, programming languages, and uh, this is the case. And uh, so I hope I helped you uh, just a bit with this tutorial and see you in the, the next videos. So thanks for watching.